Well, that's right, Krista, it's nothing new for him. This guy before, believe it or not, has biked across and walked around the perimeter of the country, and this is just his latest challenge. Many call him crazy. <laughs> I get that all the time. People call me, like, you are, you're absolutely nuts, you're crazy. He is a bit crazy. Today, Darren Wendell is swimming from New Buffalo across Lake Michigan to Chicago. That's 42 miles. A lot of things people have been pushing the envelope on for a long time when it comes to running and biking. Uh, not many people do long distance swimming. It's just a very difficult thing to do. My first thought was, are you kidding me? Craig Harden is the captain of the boat that'll ride along the entire way. After meeting with Darren and, and getting to know a little more about him, I was convinced that he was up to the challenge. He and four others are plotting the route on GPS, but other than that, there's not much help. Wendell won't take any breaks or touch the boat once. It's nonstop, so from the second I leave the shore, um, I can't touch anything until, until I run out of water on the other side. Wendell is doing it to raise money for clean drinking wells in Africa. He says it's his faith in God that brought him to the cause. I'm one of the richest people on the planet. Um, when it comes to being an American citizen, I, have, I feel like I have a responsibility to help people. It's simple. This swim will be anything but simple. The furthest he's ever swam before is 13 miles. He'll have to triple that to finish this one. It's his faith in himself that'll keep him swimming. My body will do what I tell it to do. It's just what I'm willing to endure. Now, right now, he should be right in the middle of Lake Michigan. And about this time tomorrow, he should be pulling up on Navy Pier in Chicago. In New Buffalo, Ryan Clund, ABC 57 News.